Hey guys, it's Deepika. This video that you're about to watch from me is more raw and real and filled with an emotional, vulnerable place than I have ever gone with you. But it was really important that I shared something that I've been going through the past year of my life and I wouldn't be the person I am if I didn't tell you the raw truth of everything happening. I am not sitting here saying I don't feel very blessed and grateful and fortunate for everything that's happened in my life. That said, I have been struggling with levels of anxiety and depression and it's something that I needed to handle and take care of and I wanted to share that journey with you all. So here it is. You'll see me more bare face than you ever have before, but that's okay. It's who I am. So it's T plus two days since the Met Gala, and it was the most surreal experience I had since I moved to New York City. I have now been living in New York City for five years, most amazing five years of my life. The past year, I would say, has been the highest highs in career moments and personal moments, also filled with the biggest struggles, roller coaster of emotions. I'd say since the beginning of this year, the two year mark since I started doing this like working for myself thing, I haven't felt like myself. Mentally, physically, emotionally, it just, I haven't been me. I've been in my apartment a lot more than I usually am. I'm like so extrovert that like being inside my apartment by myself makes me like shut down almost but a lot of my work requires me to just be at my laptop and film and edit and post. For the past two months, I've been getting up and going to bed with it really hard to get out. And if I think about it too much, I'll get really emotional and I don't wanna do that. I wanna be in this career for the long run and I never want to feel burnt out and I feel like I'm getting there. And so I've decided that I am going to move home to Texas for a month and just be with people like my mom and dad who literally want nothing from me. The purest of people, the most amazing people I know, and I can do what I'm doing in Texas. I used to feel like I had to be in New York because I was grinding, 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 and I like loved the energy here, it made me like work even harder. I feel like so many people would be like, why wouldn't you be happy? You're literally living out your career dreams, but sometimes you can have all of these highs in your work life and still feel so alone and unhappy in other parts of your life. I used to hear people say that and I was like, get over it. It's a real thing, people. There's no one in the world that makes me happier than my family. So here I am, packing for the next month and a half of my life. I'll be in Sugarland, Texas, and I wanna bring you guys along with me. See you in Texas, y'all. Giddy up. Mom! I can't believe you're leaving me. I miss you already. I know they are getting bored there without me. I can tell. Family apparently had other parties to attend. Who am I? This is what I want to do on a Saturday night. I want to stay in and hang out with my family. After five years of go, 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 sometimes it's nice to do not a damn thing but be with your family. Focus on your career, like you're doing so good, and then things will come automatically. Enjoy your life, stay single. <laughs> I'm living my fullest life right now with no makeup. I did normal errands like driving a car, mail packages, go to the dry cleaners. That wasn't just like me giving it to the doorman at the front like weird. Monday was the first time in two years that I went a solid 24 hours without touching my phone. It felt amazing. Gross, you guys. I'm so gross. But you know what? It feels kind of good to feel gross. And a part of recharging means feeling gross. <laughs> We'll see if it gets boring. My uncle is starting chemo for stage four cancer. What did you say about my jeans? If your parents give you money, I'll give money. <laughs> and I'll buy it for you. This is fashion. I am doing something I never get to do in New York City. I'm gonna get a book, do a little bubble bath situation, zen out before I end my Sunday and stop my week. One of the things I said I would do when I come home is do more DIY masks. So my mom is showing me a mask to create using sandalwood. You ready? Yes. <laughs> yes. Deepika Mutyal on why it works. Look at that. Wow. I am at Blush and Glow Studios, and this is Arthi. I am gonna be auctioned off for a dinner at an LLS gala tonight, which is that Leukemia Lymphoma Society. But this woman started a YouTube channel, and her second video had 10 million hits. I'm gonna be the brownest person there. <laughs> I was like, 
I want to slick my hair back and wear a shirt that says girl power. And she was like, girl, you in Texas. Yeah, you need big hair. Big hair. You need to show a little bit of skin. Apparently I do. I'm going to my uncle's right now. This is the same uncle that is going through pancreatic cancer. Big part of why I'm home and why I like want to be present at the moment is to spend time with him. We're so fortunate that my dad has like six brothers and everyone's like taking turns taking care of him and helping him. But today I wanted to do it. Oh, her? Oh, her I'm, I'm glad done. that I'm just her to you. Strict orders from her mother. She's not allowed to get her nails done, but she's here hanging. I got a word of excellence at National for my film. What was your film about? Diversity. And she told the story about how we're all American and it doesn't matter what you, race you are, you we're all American at heart. And she won the National of Excellence Award because she's amazing and I think she should have a YouTube channel. How come my glasses look like the same as yours and you had cataract surgery? He's all healthy now. Yeah. No glasses required, I can right? see, yeah, I can see now. I put his cataract drops. Thank you, my daughter is helping me to put every day. Your breakfast is ready, kiddo. Your cataract drops are ready, father. You don't know how good it feels to just breathe non-polluted air. That's true. We did a morning coffee outside, talked about some investments. The investment talk, surprisingly, continues. Daddy says that when I first quit my job, tell the story, Daddy. Oh, you tell them. I quit my job. I didn't want to tell my parents. But of course, through the Indian grapevine, they found out. Come home, we're sitting on the couch, and he's like, meet me in the study. And I'm like, oh my god, he's shipping me to India. I'm getting an arranged marriage. And then he hands me a check, and he says, don't think of this as me giving money to my daughter. Think of this as an investment in somebody I believe in. And then I started crying. I was like, that's all I needed to hear. Let's just say he made that investment back. Go deep the camp. Proud of me, Raj, right? Yes, let's go deep the camp. Hello, Austin, Texas. I am here for a solid 24 hours, and guess what I'm doing? I'm with Christina and her doggy. The quality of life in this city, are you kidding me? I'm in her cutesy workout clothes because, well, A, I, they're way cuter than mine, like way cuter than mine. She does like things like whole, whole 30. Am I even saying right, is it whole 20? Whole dirty, sorry, sorry. I low key could see myself living here one day. Franklin's thirsty. Oh my god, I mixed it up. This guy, no, he needs to. He's gonna get dehydrated. Take you in my arms. Danny's place now. I'm getting ready. The main reason I even came to Austin is it's my uncle's birthday party. My mom gave me a really basic Indian outfit. Sometimes you just want to make your mom happy, right? She's not even here. They're at another wedding, so I'm here representing our family. Are you having so much fun bowling? Yeah, but we don't want to bowl anymore. Yeah, we don't want to bowl anymore. We're kind of over bowling. Today is an exciting day. It is my first ever Houston vol vlog. Wow, no, it's my first ever Houston meet and greet. We're here right now at the Blush and Glow Studios. I really just wanted this to be fun and meet my supporters in Houston. See, this is why I like Texas, because you get to see your best friends. What was our thing, like watching friends? I and baking cookies. And, oh, God, of course, there was always cookies. <laughs> cookies and friends, that's all you need. My dad's dropping me right now to my friend Lauren's house so she can take me to our high school reunion. But I want to kind of just enjoy the moment, be there and talk to people that I haven't seen in a while. We had an amazing party at our home, my big fat Indian family of like a gajillion cousins. We all lined up on these stairs and took pictures. It was such an amazing night. My sister looked breathtaking. I mean, the makeup on her was, if I do say so myself, fantastic. Honestly, I don't miss New York at all right now. I love home. It's just nice to know I could be like, mom, and she's like in the other room, you know? And there just literally is no purer love than your mom and dad. And I just like love doing things for them. They're truly my best friends. And they like talk about setting me up with people. I'm like, get at it. What's his name? I have no desire to go to New York and it's weirding me out. I used to hate on people who wanted to stay in Texas. It's like, why don't you want better? Don't you want bigger? Don't you want more? What's better? What's bigger? What's more? It's relative, everyone has different things, you know? Enter mother, say hi mom. Recording? <laughs> Is it recording, Deepika? 
Are you kidding me? I just had like a revelation. You know, breakups are tough. They suck. But you know what? You have to go through it. You have to heal. You have to go through those moments. I did. And you know, it took me a long time. And I feel great. I remember why I'm in Houston. It's for me and my family and to reset so I can leave here better, stronger, and more rejuvenated to go and reach all of my dreams and create new ones I didn't even know I had. I had an amazing time being with my family. I realized that the reason I was mildly feeling depressed here was a lot of reasons. Still hurting from a breakup, missing my family, no longer feeling really challenged, and just lonely. Like, imagine being the most extroverted person ever, AKA me, hi, me, extrovert over here. And now that I'm back here in New York City, it's only confirmed what I knew already, and it's that I'm done with New York as far as it being my permanent home. I loved being around the sun, I loved being able to breathe fresh air, but I don't want to give up my career and I want to be able to have a balance. My conclusion of how to make that happen, big announcement, big. I, Deepika Madiala, am moving to Los Angeles. Basically, I've been debating this move for a very long time. I've always wanted to live in both coasts at some point in my life. I've always listened to my gut in the past and it's telling me to go give the West Coast a shot. I can fully do what I'm doing there, if not in a better quality of day-to-day -day life. I want to continue focusing on my health like I had been when I was living in Houston. That doesn't mean I'm going to stop YouTubing, but it means that I want to grow my business. I have big dreams of so much more I want to do and I want to do that. And I think that LA is the perfect place to do it. Like, do you guys hear that? All I hear is horns outside and sirens. If you're ever feeling like down about anything in your life, don't feel bad about it. Let yourself feel it. Surround yourself with people who allow you to feel it. That's what I did for the past month and a half. And I didn't stop working. I slowed down. I kind of disconnected a little more than usual. And I'm so glad I took the time to do what I did. And so take the time for yourself, for your health, for your body, your mind, your soul. I'm excited that I finally know what I want. So my lease is up in August 31st. I'm moving to LA and I'm gonna take you guys along the whole journey with me. So this is my deep in the heart of Texas, Eat, Pray, Texas vlog. Back to the grind until La La Land. See you guys next time. Bye.